Hello everyone, welcome to the video. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe. Today I'll be demonstrating how to replace the catalytic converter substrate without spending so much money. On the left we have the casing of the catalytic converter. In my case, the contents have been scoped out. You can see right there, that's the floor on the other side. So basically this job will involve splitting the case and putting the substrate of the new replacement catalyst in there and welding it up. So I'll be using Magnaflow 53956 as you can see here, high quality. The job is going to be done on a 2008 Mitsubishi Outlander with the V6 engine. So we have two of these. So remember you need your casing to get the job done. And obviously you need to find a way to match that the diameter of your replacement catalyst to be the same to fit just right in here. So let's dive right into it. So here I've split, I've split the casing of the catalytic converter. Remember to make a mark so that you line things up exactly after before you weld. So I made a line right here, this mark, tell us with this right here. So that will help you ensure that your orientation is good before you start welding. So here I have the new catalytic converter. So the whole idea is to get the substrate into the casing. So I'm going to split this open next. Be very careful so that you don't break the substrate material. Obviously I'm using an angle grinder to make all the cuts. So this is the first cut. Ensure that you don't cut through the substrate material. So next I'm going to split longitudinally. Yep. So I've made my cut longitudinally. So next using a screwdriver I'm going to pry open the case. And there's a foam padding material in between the substrate and the case. And so the likelihood of damage to the substrate is very slim. So here's what you have. So next a good screwdriver and pry the casing apart. So we can see where I made my incision. And that's the padding material. So at this point I'll pry the casing for the apart and push the substrate out. Obviously you need to be wearing gloves for this job so that you don't cut your fingers. If the casing doesn't want to come out through the hole in this case, because I cut, I need to have made my cut somewhere around here. If the casing refuses to come out, move the substrate backwards and using your grinder, take off some more material so that it falls out right out when you tilt the casing. So here's all we have. We're taking off some more material. So with this, the casing should slide out easily. So. So this is what we have. So carefully using clean hands so that you don't clog the pores of the catalyst, pull out the casing from pull out the substrate material from the casing. So here's what we have. Everything intact, no damage at all. So set this aside carefully. And then next looking inside the casing of the brand new catalyst. You can see a padding material, we're going to make use of that. So we're going to take that out. So here's the padding material. It wraps around the substrate material. So next, using a file, we're going to file down. So using the file, we're going to file down all the interior edges like I'm showing here. The interior edges like I'm showing here. So we can slide the substrate material and the padding material easily so that it fits. So I'm going to do that right now. So after filing the inner edges of the casing, lubricate the inner edges with some oil so that we can slide the substrate material in there. So I'll lubricate it now. So I'm going to slide it right in there right now. So after sliding in there, this is what I have. 
I like to leave some of the soft frame material sticking up so that it would shield the I mean the cladding so the padding so that the actual substrate material will shield it from the welding so this is what I have so next we'll line up the marks that we made with the upper part of the casing and then weld it up I'll be using three 30 seconds electrode 60 13 electrode because I'll be using a stick welder so weld it up make sure all, everything lines up, cor up correctly and then reinstall back into the vehicle so catch when I'm done with it so after welding this is what I have welded it all around yeah still a bit warm looking inside you can see our soft stream material in there So next thing for me to do will be to put the heat shields, to install the heat shields around it and then have it reinstalled back in the car. So that's basically the whole job. So I hope I've been able to help someone out. Remember to subscribe, leave a comment below and remember to hit the like button. Alright, catch you some other time. Bye.